Now for the moment, let's turn our focus to Egypt. India's Defence Minister Rajnath Singh is visiting the country. He reached Cairo on Sunday. And earlier today, he met the country's top leadership. This visit has the potential to revamp ties between India and Egypt. Now why do I say the word revamp? Because this has been a very complicated relationship. Ups, downs and then a long slumber. Let's now begin with some history and facts. In the 1950s and 60s, Egypt and India were excellent partners. Both had emerged from colonial empires. Both were pioneers of the non-aligned movement. And their leadership had excellent chemistry. Prime Minister Jawaharlal Nehru of India and President Gamal Abdul, Abdul Nasser of Egypt. That was probably the golden era in ties. But late in the Cold War, that changed. Egypt moved closer to the United States. And India found itself non-aligned, yet closer to the Soviet Union. The relations never soured, but they never took off either. Decades later, Rajnath Singh's visit could change all that. He held talks with President Abdul Fattah el-Sisi and the Defence Minister General Mohammad Zaki. President el-Sisi emphasised on the scope of military relations and joint ventures. Rajnath Singh praised Egypt's role in combating terrorism. He also conveyed Prime Minister Narendra Modi's greetings to el-Sisi. Pleasantries done, they got down to business. And needless to say, the focus was on defence. Egypt is reportedly interested in India's Tejas fighter jet. Some quick facts here. The Tejas is manufactured by Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. It is a single-engine light combat jet. And Egypt is looking to buy 70 of them from India. They are also interested in Indian missile systems and helicopters. So for New Delhi, this is a great opportunity. Egypt is the third largest defence importer in the world. In the last decade, they spent $44 billion on defence. Simply put, it's a large market. And guess who dominates this very market? Russia. Moscow is the top weapon seller to Egypt. But right now, they are busy fighting a war in Ukraine. Which means it's an opportunity for India. Yes, Egypt has bought Rafale jets from France. But their air force also needs less complicated jets to build a larger fleet. And that's where the Tejas slots in. Plus, India is looking to sweeten the deal. Reports say that HAL is offering to set up a production line in Egypt. If true, that means investments and jobs for Egypt. All this is part of India's long-term pivot. We started off as a buyer in the global arms market and the end goal is to become a seller eventually. And by the way, it's not just Egypt. At least five other countries are interested in the Tejas. Let me name a few. The US, Australia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Argentina and Malaysia. Even Indian missiles are currently in good demand. Earlier this year, the Philippines bought India's Brahmos missiles and delivery is expected by next year. My point here is, there is a huge gap in the defence market. The likes of America and France sell high-end weaponry too expensive for many countries. Russia is unable to supply weapons right now. And that gives India a huge opportunity. You see, buyers want modern and cost-effective weapons. And India ticks both those boxes. Having said that, it will be a rather long process. Right now, India makes up just 0.2% of the defence market. Climbing up from that will take time naturally, but as they say, you have to start somewhere. And Egypt is the perfect place. Defence could be the platform to reset bilateral ties. It could also be India's window to Africa. Egypt is a powerhouse in the continent. It also controls one of the biggest choke points in global trade. The Suez Canal. Almost $200 billion worth of India's commerce passes through there. So it's a strategic priority for India, as it should be. There is also the looming threat coming from China. The PLA already have a military base in Djibouti. They have also saddled African nations with bad loans. So India needs a strategy of its own now, something to counter Chinese influence in Africa. And for that, defence or loans alone will not do the trick. China's pockets are way deeper than India's and instead New Delhi must help Egypt where it counts. For example, food. Egypt is the largest importer of grains in the world, but the war in Ukraine disrupted that trade. 
food prices started growing through the roof. So in the month of April, Egypt reached out to India. They signed a deal to buy 1 million tons of wheat. So defense alone isn't the key to resetting ties in this case. Yes, it can be a solid foundation, but to build a broad relationship, you need other factors like strategic alignment, strong bilateral trade. Only then can you elevate relationships. So my point is, this visit by Rajnath Singh is a good start. The key is now to sustain that momentum. Beyond World is One is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news updates on the move.